In this video, I am going to show you how to edit your recorded video using OpenShot software. OpenShot software is a free open source software. You can edit a recorded video using this software. Suppose if you want stitch together two shorts, show videos, you can do that. Or if you want to cut some part of the video out of of out of the existing one, you can do that. Or if you can even trim a video, even you can add some special effects, uh, something to that. Suppose you forgot to add an illustration into the video, and you want to add an illustration upon this video that you can do. You can uh, change the volume of your audio. You can uh, reduce noise. You can separate the audio out and cut the audio out and use some audio editing software like Audacity. Audacity is a very good software for audio editing. We can use that audio editing software like Audacity, remove the noise, then bring back that audio file into this video and then we can record it as a video that you can do with OpenShot. So OpenShot is a very flexible software. So advantage is that it is free and open source. So where, how to install open source? So in order to install open source, go to the website openshot.org. There you will see the download tab. Download tab. There you can uh, there you can download this. One. So if you click on that, you will see several versions like Linux version, Mac versions, and Windows downloads. So if you want to install the open shot on Windows, go to Windows downloads. Otherwise, you can download the Linux version. I recommend you to use Linux version because Linux has got so many other softwares for video editing and so many other other, other useful tools so which you can use. So download Win, download OpenShot. Now I will show you how to edit your video using OpenShot. I assume that you have already installed OpenShot. I assume that you have already installed OpenShot software. When you open open shots, short in, uh, software, you will get a window like this. This is open short software. So now you have to import your video into this open short software so that you can edit it. To, you can edit, see, look at here, like you can uh, import videos, you can import audio files, you can also import image files, etc. I'm going to import video. So click on video, then right click and import. Otherwise, you can open from this uh, this icon also. Import. Fine. Select a small one like uh, I'll select this one. Okay. OBS2 MP4. This is uh, nine. 0.5 MB length size video file. So I am going to import that. So it is there. So if you want to edit it, you will have several tracks here. I am going to drag this into this this level. So it is there. The video will be shown there. If you want to play, click here. You can play it. At any point of time, if you want to edit, click here. So you can click stop it there. So this is going beyond the size. If you want to reduce it, here also you can reduce it. So this is, you want to zoom out, zoom in, like actually, okay. So I'm going to zoom in out. Suppose if you want to cut this video at some point of time. So this is the timeline. So it keep on reading, actually. Suppose it keep on uh, writing. At some point of time, we can stop actually here. So if you want, if you don't want this part, if you want to cut it here, place this one here, and you can separate into two video files. Like sometimes the initial part, when you start recording something which you may not like to uh, be in the video, like in the first part you may want to remove. So right click here, slice, if you can keep both sides, means it will cut into two pieces. If you don't want the left side, keep the right click here. So the left part will be gone. So the left part is gone. So then again, you can move to this one. 
Suppose, so this is how you cut. So at the end of the video, suppose you play it, uh, and then you can watch actually where do you want to cut. At some point of time, suppose if you keep on drawing like this, at this point of time, suppose if you want, cut, stop it here, then right click on this one, select, then you want to keep the left, okay. So the left part is kept, the right part is gone. Now suppose if you want to cut it into two pieces, you want to have both the slides, then, on, then you will have two pieces. Okay. okay, there are two pieces. Now you can move around. This is the first part, this is the second part. So this is how you cut a video into two pieces. You can put it there. If you slice it over this, there will be uh, there will be a transition part that we can select any kinds of transition. And there are different types of transition. You just blur the first scene into the second one, or you just uh, uh, flip or uh, fly into the first one. Something like that. You can select all kinds of transition part. If you if you if you if you click right click on that, you will get uh, the properties also like what you want to get. So this is how you cut a video into several parts. Now you have this video, both uh, video and audio put together as one file. Suppose if you want to separate out the video and audio, right click on this, then you can separate audio into another channel like you know, single channel or multiple channel. So, a single clip actually, everything will be separate. So, this is the audio file, this is the video file. You can remove this, remove, you select this alone, this alone, so that is red actually, this is blue. So, that means you have selected the audio file alone, then remove clip, so that is good. Now, this, if you save this video, you will not have audio in this one. Then, what you can do is, you can go to audio file, import import file then you can select an audio file see here i have an audio file which is noise reduced that noise reduced file i can drag into this one so this is how you remove the audio and put a new audio when you record if it has got so much noise what you can do is you can remove the audio and then take some other audio editing software and uh, you edit the audio uh, and then put it back. So, for example, in Audacity, if you simply open the video file, it will remove the video and it will only take the audio. In Audacity, you can remove the noise and you can amplify the voice and you can do a lot of audio editing with the Audacity. It's a very full-fledged, very good software. So, then you save it. That file, you can put it back. This one, this file which I have shown, actually I have removed the noise using Audacity and that file I am putting it back. Then you export this as a video, you will have a better audio in, the, in, in your video file. Okay. Now if you want to add another file into this one. Okay. If you want, uh, if you want to uh, yeah, attach, stitch together two files, I can again go to video then uh, import to some other file you can select any other file so i will select a small one just to show you how to do that actually so i have an scp mkp file so i'll import that so it is there so i'll attach it here it's a very small file so so that you can bring it to this one so that is another video file so now you have two audio files uh, sorry two video files put it together so this contains both audio and video even there if you can want if you want to separate the video audio out you can do that <laughs> then if you select the if you just want to increase the volume you just select the audio file then go down here then here there is a volume there you can type two or something Okay, then the volume will be doubled. So you can increase the volume there. Now you need not use any audio editing software. Here itself you can just increase the volume, but you may not be able to reduce the noise very much as you like. That is the only problem with this one. I mean, 
you if you, if you if you use a separate audio editing software you can reduce that and you can do lot with the audio file so then you put this together now i will show you how to export this video into which you can export to youtube now click on this site click on this symbol like you know you uh, uh, export this or this one then the file will be there you can give the file name here whatever the file name you want to give uh, let me put the effort that is my file name so that is in this folder if you want to change the folder change the folder then what kind of the format you want to select suppose if you want to put this video into the website it need not have very high quality because if it is very high quality the size will be too much right now it upload and for the viewers also it will be difficult for them to download the file and see so you can select a web if you want to upload then there are several options like right? you know, suppose if you want to have as the quality of youtube hd quality then you just select youtube hd quality so it automatically everything will be select according to that you, here again you can reduce the quality if the file size is too much like high or medium or low then it will automatically then you simply click export video so it will be this file will be saved onto that or, or onto a file which you can upload to the youtube so this is how you export then there is something called advanced options so there are different options here you save both the audio and video then video settings you have here you have your mp3 format there are different types of video format mp4 is one of the most popular one because mp4 because this video will be viewed by people or viewers with the different kinds of devices sometimes they may use a mobile phone or a computer and uh, uh, devices like that actually so mp4 can be played in almost all the devices there are better uh, formats but may not be played in all other all other devices so i mean for the time being i'm not an expert in this but still i'm telling and with my limited knowledge that mp4 if you use mp4 that can be viewed by we would we would that can be viewed in almost all kinds of devices so you can save it as a mp4 file and uh, there are different options here like clicker this one and uh, usually you might be selecting youtube sd so that is how you select it after that you can save different quality also so if you reduce the quality if you uh, the quality if you reduce to medium or low the size of the file will be much lesser in case if your internet connection is a bit slow you can upload that kind of file. so that's how you edit it so you i mean i go i think you got an idea about how to uh, stitch together two videos even you can add one more video you can just put it here from here import a new import say for example i want to import an image so go to image then import an image select an image file so this one i will select so this one i will bring to this so this is an image file image file so what you can do is if you drag this how long you want to see this where that we can uh, change actually so if you drag i'll just see then i i drag it stretched it out so it will be shown this duration actually if you want to uh, show this image for a quite long time then you can drag it again so this long time it will be shown this figure there won't be any change on this video just uh, this one will be shown over here so there there is no audio file here suppose if you want to have something here as an audio you have to import an audio file below that actually so then while showing this picture that audio will be played out so this is how you import that okay now i will show you some if you want to Im import uh on top of something on this actually suppose this is the fair i want to import uh something on the onto this i will import on file let me check if there is any file which i can uh, import okay i have a gif here okay or, or or i'll select this file first okay so this is this is a png file so if you drag it here then see that will be shown over this file this will be over this file so timeline you put it over here 
then you drag it to that so that will be over that actually it will be shown over the other figure because that is a transparent one so throughout this figure this will be uh, shown top of that this you can reduce maybe you can reduce the size uh, here you right click on that you can do a lot of with that actually if you want to transform something uh, you can transform see just a transform then click here to reduce it you can add it to this size so that is it then you can move to any place you want so that is how you can on top of one video you can go to something else this is useful when you forgot to add some uh, graphics onto your video suppose if while giving a lecture you want to add some illustration like in an equation or more, more than an equation like an a, 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 say for example you're talking about a molecule then if you want to show the molecular structure on top of this video you can draw the molecular st structure and put it over here so suppose you want to show this only for a short period you drag it there so while you are talking only that period it will be shown after that suppose if you play this one if you play this when it is played when this video come to this end it will be stopped say for example i will put it see when when it is closed over there that will be disappeared because that is been shown only to that layer so what i wanted to say is that in open shot you have so many layers here so many tracks you can put one track on top of the other like you can even add a tracks and put up for every one the properties will go the left side the properties will be there then there are a lot of thing on the right side like you now if you want to blur one thing you just drag it to uh, some uh, this one actually so it will be blurred and so many other uh, good things are there there is something like a shift if you put it to sh uh, drag it to here and shift it this figure initially it will appear here then it will slowly move on to this place like that, that kind of animations you can show so in short open shot is a very good software for video editing i mean you hope at least uh, how to open this and do all the basic stuff with the open shot i hope you understood uh, what i have shown to you like maybe i can put one more video on open shot with all other features of open shot this is just a beginning thank you